This is the BMW X3, and in the ever-popular field of luxury crossovers, you might say there's a lot about this one that's just right. The size, for one, it's big enough for four adults and their things, a family of five in a pinch, and all without being massive, clumsy, and difficult to park. So the size, in many ways, is just right. The getting in and out is just right, too. You don't need to climb up like in a bigger crossover SUV, nor do you plug down like in a luxury sedan. You just sort of slide sideways and you're in your seat. The interior is also just right. It's luxurious and high-tech, but without trying too hard to look like either. You get premium materials, a formal and elegant design, and plenty of gadgets, with none of these overwhelming the underlying relaxing character on board. Even the back seat is just right, complete with deep pillowy seats, plenty of headroom, and easy entry and exit. The other thing is that it rides just right. Without the giant wheels and stiffer shocks you'll find in so many premium SUV models, this one puts comfort first. You'll notice that the rims aren't giant 20 inches and that the tires aren't paper thin, so you get plenty of rubber to absorb the bumps in the road and the suspension is set up beautifully for touring. Nothing much upsets it, it glides over smooth roads and even bigger bumps have little effect beyond creating refined little jiggles as the suspension keeps the X3's body softly but tautly anchored to the wheels. So a lot of stuff here that's just right, in the same sense as that proverbial just right bowl of porridge that Goldilocks shoveled into her face before being munched by a family of murderous grizzly bears. Of course, none of these just right traits is exclusive to the BMW X3, there are plenty of other crossover models that are sized nicely, easy to get inside of, ride well and feel relaxing and upscale. Some of my favorites are the Jeep Grand Cherokee, Lexus RX and Audi Q5, but a few things in the X3 do help to set it apart in this segment. Segment. First, it's available with diesel power, an increasingly popular but still fairly rare offering here. This particular X3 gets a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo diesel, good for 181 horsepower and the better part of 300 pounds of torque. In most situations, it's as smooth and quiet as any of the market's best diesel engines, partly to thank is this curious-looking acoustic fabric cover on the front of the engine to trap escaping noise and only a hint of trademark diesel rattle clatter makes itself apparent at lower revs and light throttle application. Plus, as a new age diesel engine, there's no smoke, no soot, and no malodorous wafts of putrid haze from the tailpipe. Pretty fantastic engine to be sure. Low to mid-range power when requested sees the diesel-powered X3 surge along adequately. It's not a hot rod like the Audi Q5 TDI with its bigger diesel V6, but the power output shouldn't disappoint most folks. The mileage won't disappoint either. Even rolling on winter tires, which tend to use a bit more fuel, I manage 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers overall. That's about the same mileage as a subcompact car and a much larger crossover with four wheel drive. Even comparable gas powered sport utes won't come close to that thrifty fuel consumption number. So running a diesel engine is a great way to save fuel because, well, diesel has more energy per unit volume than gasoline does, but on top of that, they've also given you a sort of fuel-saving toolkit of different features and technologies in this thing to help out even more. You've got things like this 8-speed automatic transmission, 8 gears means lower highway cruising revs, that helps out your fuel consumption, just like the on-demand oil and water pump, which reduce the strain on the engine by only kind of kicking in when and how much they're needed. There's also auto stop, which shuts the engine down when it would otherwise be idling. For instance, when you're at a traffic light or a stop sign, and it fires the engine back up in less time than it takes for your foot to go from the brake pedal to the gas. And what's really cool is there's also an on-demand alternator that only recharges the battery when you're coasting or braking. That means more power to the road more of the time and less fuel burn. So all said, these incremental sort of things add up to trim away at your fuel consumption and help you go farther on every tank. There's even the Eco Pro mode, which helps drivers with visual cues to achieve the best possible mileage and standard X-Drive all-wheel drive for when you need extra traction. Even on this light to moderate trail, I saw no issues with slipping, wasteful wheel spin or ground clearance. Other notables, the truck opening is tall and wide and there's plenty of room inside of it. The BMW iDrive system is now better than ever too. It can use your smartphone's data signal to call up things like in-dash weather forecasts and even lets you scribble letters and numbers into the system by tracing them on the control knob. The full range of outward looking hazard detection systems, now including a pedestrian collision warning, are accessed with ease from this button on the dash. And finally, in typical BMW fashion, the Xenon headlamps are excellent and so is the 8 automatic, which shifts smoothly, perfectly, and very quickly every single time. Complaints were minor. As far as a luxury crossover at this price range goes, they've largely nailed this one. The Bluetooth connection can be a little fussy to get set up, and although the mileage is great, I was expecting, I think, just a touch more performance.
So let's sum up this just right diesel burning German posh ute. You'll like the great fuel mileage, the great ride quality, the size, the maneuverability, and the all season, all surface confidence. Overall comfort, a slick infotainment system, and comfortable rear seats round out the package. You might wish for a little more power from the four cylinder diesel engine, and the iDrive interface and Bluetooth can be a little finicky until you get used to them. In all, a diesel-powered X3 like this one will work very well for a shopper after comfort, confidence, and fuel efficiency above all else, and sportier drivers can check out the X3 with a turbo straight-six gas engine should more adrenaline be required. Cross-shopping? Be sure to check out this, the Audi Q5 TDI, which packs a bigger engine with plenty more power, and this, the Jeep Grand Cherokee with Eco Diesel engine. It's a pricey rig, but even more powerful and capable on the road less traveled. The X3 is priced from $43,000 with diesel power available from $45,000.